Welcome to Humorology's 69th annual show. I'm Megan Prosser. And I'm Sean O'Neill. And we're this year's executive producers. This year we've partnered with the Rainbow Project, which is a local organization that services and counsels young children and families that suffer from um, domestic abuse and violence. We want to thank you so much for coming out tonight and supporting us and supporting this deserving organization. Following all seven shows, please feel free to stay for the award ceremony. And at this time, we'd ask you to please silence your cell phones. For the safety of our cast and crew, please no flash photography. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please locate your nearest emer emergency exit. And without further ado, Humorology presents When, when Life, Life Gives, gives you, you Lemons. lemons. So, Megan, you know that the whole union's open now, right? Like, this is a new theater, but the rest of it's open, and it's dope. I know. It's so cool. I especially love all of the new food places, like Daily Scoop. I mean, who doesn't love some good Babcock, right? I mean, I'm more of a Ben and Jerry's guy myself. I don't know what I would do without some chunky monkey in my life. Interesting. Well, this show's got something interesting in store for you. All is well in ice cream land, and all the flavors are preparing to celebrate 100 years of Ben and Jerry's rule. But when Ben and Jerry's most famous flavors start disappearing, it is up to three young flavors to save their friends. Along the way, they get help from a big cuddly bear, a furry bunny, and even some rival German ice cream makers. To save the sacred craft of churning up delicious icy treats, they must journey to the halls of ice cream fame. Here, a legendary master of the dairy arts just might help them save the Ben and Jerry's name. Will our noble flavors be able to find out who took their friends? Will ice cream ever be the same again? The culprits may be more familiar than you might think. Directed by Leslie Levy, Olivia Orencia, Emily Rosati, Annie Rolacek, William Kerwin, Landry Indahayo, Andrew Foy, and Ben Johnson. Alpha Z Delta, Tau Kappa Epsilon, and Alpha Sigma Phi present Adventures in Ice Cream Land, The Revenge of the Rejected Flavors. Hurry, there's no time to waste. Strawberry peanut butter, you're not made of molasses. Chocolate chip, I'm going as fast as I can. I think it's starting to melt. Half baked, you've been staring at that oven for three hours. There better be a cake in there. Mmm, cake. Don't worry, Strawberry. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Look, here comes Chunky Monkey. <laughs> Flavors, you better give me some punch for this speech. Oh no, we can't have Mr. Monkey going into monkey mode again. Flavors, we need more frosting, more sparkles. Somebody get Chunky Monkey some punch. Oh, fudge! It's nearly time for Betty Jerry's 100th anniversary. And celebrate today Grab the food, the cake Time to party all together Ben and Jerry are here tonight Their future's bright One hundred years later We're dead as a team the world of ice cream We're so proud they're living out their dreams Oh, it's been such a treat Ben and Jerry We celebrate all we have done A century ago it all began Chunky Monkey! Oh. Our very coldest rivals, Hog and Don! <gasps> Ooh, ah! What in the sweet name of Jerry is going on here? Cone it, Chunky Monkey! You do not want to get a southern man like me in a hissy fit! Whee! You yeah, old rest your repeat, you're Lister Massados! Tennessee Mud, you sure bustle me up! Silence! Uh, Desperately mad! Sir! What does it now, Ethan Almond? Well, uh, sir, 
we, we, we acquired the monkey, and our next target is, uh, half baked. Oh, and here comes peanut butter and jelly. No, dastardly mash. Why can't we turn chalky monkey into a milkshake already? There's nothing sweeter than pain and suffering. Also, boss, aren't you the least bit worried that Ben and Jerry might find our rejected flavor slayer? No, Ben and Jerry will certainly go after their old enemies, Hawk and Dawes. Yeah, all we ought to Ben and Jerry are their rejected flavors. This is bananas. Why did you flavors capture me? Why did we capture you? Allow me to explain. Why did we capture you? Well, the world must change. Change, 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 change today. You see, we've captured you. You're here to stay. stay, stay, stay. Oh, You'll never get to see another freezer we again. Introduction flavors that will be so in demand. We finally captured you. Now it's, it's our time. time. You. Oh yes, we've captured you. Today we've captured you. It's our time. It's our time. Well, where can we find Hawking Dogs? They built a castle hidden away. Klondike Mountains. Watch, we have an ancient map that shows the trail. Wow, that's convenient. Chocolate chip, give me the map. Peanut butter, you're not. Nice. Obviously, my name's Peanut Butter. You're such a creamy. Enough! We'll never get to the Klondike Mountains if you two keep bickering. <laughs> what was that? Wow, I must be really hungry. Quiet, I think I hear something. What do we have here? Cream. Oh, products we do. Klondike Bear, don't scare these ones off. Oh, sorry, Blue Bunny. I'm so bad at making friends. Sorry for the scary little flavors. I'm Blue Bunny, and this is Klondike Bear. We got lost in the Klondike Mountains. Well, that's where we're going to. We're looking for Hagen Dazs' castle. We don't speak those names here. Why? What happened? Their castle takes up all the land on the polar ice caps, so I have nowhere to roam free. And no one ever stand up to them with us. Because what would anyone do for a Klondike Bear? I just don't understand. Why are Hagen Dazs so mean? Ben, it's time we told them the whole story. Long, long ago, there was a brand that wanted us to know that they ruled the land. They took our business to be in command. Those times are gone, because it showed them that we are strong. Now is our time, what they're doing is such a crime. Through the mountains, to the gold game. That's where we know the Germans will wait. Together we will make them pay. Let's save the day. Uh, sir, 
Are, are, we, are we ready to move on to the final stage of the plan? Yes, Ethan Almond. It is time to kidnap Beth and Jerry. Ha, ha, ha. you to find it. I appreciate that. Now let's go get Chunky Monkey. I bet they're half fakes too. Hoggy Dots, we've come for our friends. Ooh, Dots, hold me. I'm uber spooked. My heart, it beats as fast as Dots Autobahn. What have we done to the classic Rockus? Uh, duh, you kidnapped Chunky Monkey and like totally ruined the grand ceremony. Who does that? No, no, not Chunky. We love the monkey. Then why would you kidnap him? We want to explain a confusion. But we need to be uber civil or we'll have to call the guards. No guards are gonna stop us. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Guards! Ice Cream Land is a wondrous place, except when it's not. Like right now, Ben and Jerry are missing. Who did this? We're working on it. Ah! Oh, Why? Jerry. Oh, just like mine cloud. This is Zawa. What does it come for us next? Oh, we don't know. But we know of someone who might. You must follow the rocky road to find the origin of ice cream itself. Another journey. This is getting repetitive. Oh, us. Flavors, Klondike, Bear Night, stay back to wings out these Germans. No one has ever done this much for a Klondike Bear. If you ever need me, I'm just a roar away. Auf Wiedersehen. Holy chips, w what is this place? Who are you? We're the Dippin' Dots, of course. The Dippin' Dots? Yeah, Stephen Babcock's right-hand dots. Who in the name of Jerry is Stephen Babcock? Only the daddy of Jerry himself. What we need is help. Things in ice cream land are getting sour. Oh, trust us. He, he can, can help. help. You came here to find out all the answers. You took a chance and left your friend. And here is my partner in cream, Lori Burkream. Lori Burkream here, Vice Provost for Dairy Life and Dean of Cream. Flavors, allow me to show you something exciting. That will explain everything. This is Dairy Hall, where all dairy products can learn about their rich history. Oh, don't they look familiar? There's Ben and Jerry with their little pal, Chunky Monkey. Triggered. Oh, that's too bad. As I was saying, here are their frozen rivals, Hog and Oz. Mr. Badcock, who's that? Who's what? Who is? 
Who is that? Oh, it seems my Tippin' Dots have failed to remove all of the rejected flavors from the gallery. Wait, what are rejected flavors? When a flavor's popularity starts to melt, Ben and Jerry send them away. Ice cream is a business, after all. So, what rejected flavor is that? That, my nutty friend, is Dastardly Mash. Great guy, huge in the 80s. But then, Ben and Jerry retired and he swore to melt all the flavors in Ice Cream Land to the ground! Oh, my! Babcock, that's definitely who's kidnapping everyone. How do we find these rejected flavors? Mr. Babcock, can lead the way to a secret lair without a sprinkle of doubt. Follow us! <laughs> Alrighty, flavors, are you ready for the ride of your life? We were born ready! The rejected flavors have a hidden lair, hidden in a cave, hidden in a hot fudge volcano. It's hidden! Now this trip's gonna be hot and bothered. Squad up, Dots! It's time to show these flavors how we roll! Getting older Think about what we've been through. towards you were? No, I'm sorry. Chips hit the fan. We want you all back in our family, even you, Dastardly Mash, or should I say, son? I guess my vision quest came true after all. Whoa. I love plot resolution. Me too. I only wish Hagen Dazs were here. 
Don't speak too soon. Mmm, that ending is better than Oktoberfest. Wow, we turned a sour situation into a sweet one. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, you get lemon sorbet. It all began at the big party. The crowd was ready to listen. But the speech giver went missing. They asked a bunny bear and Germans that finally led them to me. My dots and I have the key. Yeah, the major key. And now we're all together in business forever. My name's Sarah Twiddell. And I'm Mari Bonadonna, and we're this year's executive directors. As the executive directors, we get to work really closely with the cast. We help them develop their plot lines, their characters, sometimes tell them which jokes are too inappropriate. We tend to be a little bossy. We just like things to look a certain way. So speaking of, I'm gonna need the warm colors to move to this side and like the cooler colors over there. So like, mom, yeah, I see you wearing your red sweater. So I'm gonna need you. You could be the line leader for the warm colors over here. So red, oranges, uh, just we gotta separate you guys. Color coordinated. Uh, Mari, what are you doing? I'm separating the warm and the cool colors. I think you're confused. This isn't Crayola City. But I know how to get there. But <laughs> Let's keep this colorful theme going, shall we? Welcome to Crayola City, where you could be any color of the rainbow. You'll fit right in as long as you play by our rules. The label on your wrapper defines everything about you, your name, your personality, and most importantly, your family. With a battle underway to complete the coloring book, it's a full-out war between the warm colors and the cool colors. However, our star-crossed lover crayons, Berry Red and Violet, are fed up with the petty rivalry and decide to challenge the status quo. Seeking any way to end the feud, the two follow the evil Quicksilver and his band of forgotten crayons to his conveniently named Take, Take Away, away all, all the Color, color machine. machine. Will a world without color be enough to keep these two together? Or will the line drawn between the two families prevail? Join us as we experience life in color. Directed by Taylor Gray, Elizabeth Grenfell, Caroline Kornack, Michelle Weil, Darius Chambers, Austin Koisnan, and Sean Benedict. Pi Beta Phi, Theta Chi, and Sigma Phi present Life, life in, in Color. color. Extra, extra, read all about it in Crayola Weekly. The human hands picked a cool color again, and now us warm colors are five pages behind them in finishing the coloring book. <laughs> Better luck next time, Scarlet. Oh, you think you're just so cool, don't you, Cobalt? Yeah, I do, because I'm the coolest color. But you know what's cooler than being cool? Ice Cold! Oh, good fun. Don't listen to Cobalt. The human hand will. Pick a warm color next time. Berry red? <gasps> Stop trying to flirt with that girl, Violet, and get back over here now! But I was just talking to her! We've been over this! Us warm colors can't even associate with the cool colors! But I'm just so drawn to her! Why do the warm and cool colors always have to fight? That's just the way Crayola City has always been! Berry, berry, berry. It looks like you need a lesson on how Crayola City is right. Growing up here, what can I say? It has always been this way. The hand picked our side, it caused the divide. Just learn to stay away. You can't be with her, I can't let her go. Violet, oh, how I love you so. All of the warms, all of the cools, will have a problem if you break the rules. Red, yellow, green, and blue, Violet can't be with you. You aren't cool enough for her. Away from you 
again! Look, I know that we probably shouldn't be talking, but I don't think I can keep us a secret any longer! But Violet, I need to be with you! I hate this silly color feud! Violet, get over here! Oh no, I have to go! Wait, we need to figure this out! You don't want us to be over, do you? Violet! Of course not, but I have to go home! Meet me outside the color wheel at 8 tonight! Did you see that? Those two are exactly who Boss needs for his evil plan! Mwah. What are you doing? Oh, I'm drawing you like one of my French girls. What? Whatever. We have to go tell our boss, Quicksilver, that we finally found a warm and cool color who are working together. Boss! 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 What? We finally found a warm and cool color who are working together. Uh, doubt it. No! Quicksilver, don't you want to get picked by the human hand? The human hand will never pick a gray crayon. That is, unless I can find a way to capture all of the color of Crayola City for myself. But what about your... Take away all of the color machines. In order for that machine to work, you know I need to find a warm and cool color to agree to work together and power my machine. Um, hello! This is exactly what I've been trying to tell you two this whole time! Violet and Berry Red are exactly the two crayons you need. Hmm, looks like I need to take a look at these two crayons for myself. Where did you say they were going again? The color wheel at eight tonight. Let's go. Everyone give it up for the Blue Man Group. Up next, we have Maroon 5. Thank you so much for coming out to the color wheel tonight, folks. Berry, over here. Violet, look, before you say anything, we can't end this just yet. Well, what sort of brilliant plan have you come up with this time? Well, I say we end the feud for good. I'm just not quite sure how yet. Come on, let's try to figure something out together. What can we do to stop this feud? These colors spin around, don't like what's going down. It needs to stop, but it never will. I would give anything to change This superficial world A girl is just a girl I mean, who cares if they're red or blue? I'm just a girl, okay, you see? He's the only one for me Wait, no, how could this be true? They both want to end the feud Cause I want her, oh We gotta end his feud See, told you so Perfect! These are exactly the two crayons I need, and I know just how to trick them. Oh no! If only there was a way that this awful rivalry wouldn't exist. <laughs> I could fix that if I could find a warm and cool color to agree to work together and power my machine. Wait, what did you just say? Because you know maybe Violet and I could help you out with that. Well, color me silly. A warm and cool color standing side by side. Who are you and what exactly do you need us to do? My name's Quicksilver and I got a machine. That can solve all your problems. Wow. Meet me back here in an hour and I'll show you how you can help. Well, that was easy. See you later. Well, now that we have them taken care of, you go gather the grays. You know, in order to get what you want around here as a gray crayon, sometimes you need to color outside the lines. If we're all in, it's time to get this plan started. We're tired of being completely forgotten. We're not gonna be the favorite crayon they see We're gonna take away the color Now just listen to me Crayons are back Quicksilver's no coloring book. 
<laughs> Give me that! Wowza! I didn't know it looked like that. I've been drawing it all wrong. What is that? <laughs> Quick, the boss man is coming! We're almost done setting up your machine, boss! As soon as we're done tightening those bolts, all we need is a warm and a cool color to step inside. Perfect! Violet and Berry Red are right outside that door. And soon I'll have all of the color of Crayola City for myself. Barry, are you sure about this? Quicksilver and his gray friends are pretty shady. Everything is going to be fine. You just got to play it cool. You're pretty good at that, right? Why, you love? Step right this way. Please come inside into the machine. Good. Everything is going to be great. Everyone here looks really normal. See? Ooh. Ah! What happened to playing it cool, Barry? Let's begin, shall we? It's bigger! It's better! Ladies and gentlemen, it's the takeaway all the color machine. No longer will a gray crayon sit on the sidelines and watch the human hand pick a warm for a cool color. From now on, it'll only pick me! in color. If the human hand wants me to draw a tree, leap it to me. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. And if Crayola City's in need of some badger pride, I'm ready. Orange and glad I have all the color. Yeah. Why are you gonna laugh so loud, Aw, do I need to draw a picture for you? What do I always tell you? The, the best, best way to spread, spread hate, hate and fear, fear is, is laughing, laughing loud, loud for all to, to hear. hear. Does being evil make you rhyme all of the time? Alrighty, I'll have to show the town what I can do. Oh, but can I use pink? I want to highlight my hair. Oh, no. Have you seen your complexion? This color is mine. Oh, mine! Besides, gray suits you. Are you guys as mad as I am? I'm green with envy. Not like you can tell anyway. Uh, guys, Quicksilver tricked us. We helped him with his plan, and he didn't share any of the color. He kept it to himself. Uh, this man does not treat us right, and we deserve respect. Who's with me? Yo. Our boss is tweaky, and we ain't messing with that. Looks like it's just us two, but what exactly should we do? Ah, oh, Scribbles, I rhymed again. The only thing we can do, we have to bring all of the color back to Crayola City. But how? Oh. Primary colors will reverse this machine and give back everything that we stole. Quicksilver used to solve to get what he wanted. Now it's time that we make the call. Why couldn't he treat us better? With his plan, let's go find the primary colors. Take a stand. It's time that we both speak our minds. Take back all the kinds of color he doesn't deserve. Why couldn't he treat us better? Hey, everyone, Violet and I are in love! No, seriously, guys, I'm holding his hand! We changed our relationship status on Facebook! I deleted my Tinder! Oh, Barry, turn around! Ah! Barry! There you are! I've been looking for you everywhere! Why is all our color gone? I know! You had something to do with this! Oh, look at this! A warm color screwed up Crayola City once again! You know, it's cyan typically proven up. Warm colors always at fault. Ah, don't act like Violet had nothing to do with this! Oh, Violet, you didn't! Well, you two need to fix this. 
I can't believe I actually agree with Cobalt. You two need to get our color back. I guess there could have been better ways to expose our relationship without completely destroying Crayola City. Hello, little dust bunnies. Aw, why so gloomy? Hey, you tricked us. This is a disaster. The city is a mess. There's still rivalry, and now the human hand won't want to finish the coloring book. Of course it will. All it needs to do is pick me. We can't let you do that. Do you want to fight? We can't just let you take all the colors for yourself. Oh, yes, you can. Just watch me. This is a mess like no other. No more tricks. I need you all to hear this. Quicksilver has all the colors. And you know what that means? The human hand will pick me. We need to make this right. Hey, those two are there. We're all our color guys. Take it. Why are you all not? Don't you And now we're going to stop him, yeah? Why should we trust you? I'm smarter than I look, baby. The primary colors is how we fix this. We're going to take back the color. We built the machine. That's why we know everything. We're going to make this right. Wait, what? A change of heart. We'll make it right. We'll make it right. How will the hand ever tell us apart? We'll make it right. They were wrong! Don't wish them dead! Our color's gone! I'm seeing red! I got my girl and my man! But at what cost? The city crashed! Fixing this won't be easy. We need some help, as you can see. Together we can win this fight. I guess it will take all of us to make it right. Who's warm and the grace? Who's to say that we can't be a defenseless? We all need to be on. Finally, the primary college is first on our bucket list. And bringing them together will take care of business. These pages need more than just one bridge of field space. If we end this feud now, we all can't get we'll first place. We'll make it right tonight, baby. Let's go find the primary colors. Scour the city till they're found. We'll know where to look to fix the coloring book. So let's go make this right. So let's go make this right. City, you know, as friends, it's gonna be great! Oh, uh, fine, well, we're wasting time! Oh, oh, do you still have the instructions on how to reverse the machine? Oh, yeah, I do, right here! Oh, scribble! Oh, ah, that was it, you'll be great forever! Sad. Don't lose hope! Look, here it is! I found it under the highlighter! Hey, man, you totally snatched my blanket. Come on, let's see what it says. All we have to do is pull the lever up. Yeah, simple, huh? That, that seems incredibly, incredibly convenient. convenient. 
All right, gang, let's step inside the machine so they can pull the lever and we can get this city its color back. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, watch out, friend. Blue, you're stepping on my toe. What? Sorry, I always do that. What? It wasn't just us. We couldn't have done it without the help of our great friends. Well, come and join the fun, you two. Wait, is everyone actually getting along? Yeah, once Scarlett and I agreed on the fact that you two messed up so bad, we got to talking. Turns out we have a lot more in common than we thought. We just had to give it a chance. You two are right. We shouldn't let appearance define who we are. It doesn't matter if you're a warm, a cool, or a gray. We're all crayons in the end, right? My color! My precious color! All I wanted to do was get picked by the human hand, but now I'm nothing! Gray! Nobody draws with a gray crayon! Yes, they do! Quicksilver! Yeah, how do you think people draw oysters? Or cement. Or stormy nights. Or a rock. Or old people hair. Well, great. Old people hair. I sure am useful. Time to go get ready for the human hand. See, he just didn't appreciate what he had. Like I always say, when life gives you lemons. They better be Lulu. <laughs> Well, I can finally be with the one I love and everyone's happy. You know what, Mary? You're pretty cool. Give it up one last time for Crayola City! We silver thought that he could trick us all and keep the color for himself, but he Forgot that we're the ones that hold the rainbow's key. We were wasting time with pointless fights, and now it's over. Let us show you our color. We were wasting time with pointless fights, and now it's over. Let us show you why the feud was bound to just fall through. We're just like you. That's it. We're through with this. All the color, there's no more split. Here's why. We see eye to eye. There's one together. We're I'm Megan Kelly and I'm the philanthropy chair. <laughs> and I'm Sydney Chasen and I'm the sponsorship chair. Wow, Sid. It's so surreal to think we're actually at the final show. I know. We've been planning, fundraising, and anxiously awaiting for this weekend for about a year now. It's kind of like our own little Super Bowl. You know, you're so right. But I can't even begin to imagine all the work those ad companies go through to get their commercials just right. Funny you talk about the ad companies instead of the football teams, Megan. I mean, yeah, Flo from Progressive and Jake from State Farm are way more interesting than anyone on the Patriots. Ooh. Really? You think a guy that wears khakis is more interesting than the Patriots? I mean, I guess. But how do those ads even get picked? Well, maybe this next show will clear that up for you. It wasn't always easy getting to the top. Meet some of your favorite commercials before they were on the big screen as they entertain their way through ad school. When a surprising opportunity arises for a spot in the Super Bowl, Flo, an up-and-coming entertainer, can't help but give it a shot herself. When disaster strikes, her not-so-secret admirer, Jake from State Farm, steps in willing to do anything to help her land that spot. With his best friend, Discount Double Check, by his side, they have to defeat not one, not two, but three of some of the biggest ads on television. Will Jake win Flo's heart? Will Flo make it to the Super Bowl? This is a commercial you won't want to skip. Directed by Madison Shusheski, Morgan Liddell, Grace McMurray, Liza Shapin, Jenny Slogar, Rowan Gaspray, Chris Kelleher, Zach Schmidt, Tristan McLinden, and Jack Pendleton, Tri Delta and Delta Chi present The Great Adventure. Let's 
listen up! Welcome to advertising school! Now, let me give you some advice! You are now entering into adulthood, and I expect every one of you to adhere to what I teach you! Hey man, what's your name? Hey, I'm Jake from State Farm. So wait, I'm discount double check. What's your major, man? Uh, uh, advertising? Isn't that what everyone's doing here? Oh, I guess so. I'm just here because they really want to meet Darren Rogers. Oh, I, I think he's a little busy trying not to discount double choke. <laughs> Whoa, well, who is that? Dude, that's Flo. Well, she's gorgeous. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Photoshop, but you better discount double check yourself. I have a feeling she's going to make it big. Oh, OMG, Flo, those creepy guys are totally Go talk to her! Well, screw it! I'll sing to her! I'm just an average guy, the stars align when I saw you I hope that you don't mind, I really just can't resist you We're never going to work out, so just enjoy the view i never be caught with an ad like you She blew you off! famous commercials just came to let you all know we're looking for young talent for the up-and-coming Super Bowl. No way! The Super Bowl? Yes, that's right. For years we've been oppressed by people fast-forwarding and skipping us. You know who you are. If you think you have what it takes, come on down to tryouts. The Super Bowl only happens once a year. Oh my god, this is such short notice. How do they expect us to have anything ready? Hi, I'm Sarah McLaughlin. Every year thousands of advertisements get rejected from a commercial spot in the Super Bowl. They're beaten. Neglected and left out in the street with nowhere else to go. Ah, fam. No! Looks like it's my time to shine. Don't you know that everybody wants to be on TV? Hold my hand. Oh, baby, you know everyone just wants to be on TV. Hold my hand. Oh, baby, I mean everyone. Yeah, everyone. If you get work or if you get none. Check your TV, cause I'll be a star. Oh, star rising by the early morning. Don't fast forward on your DVR. Cause Lowe's Ed is the only one worth watching. You know how high I set the bar. Watch her close, cause she'll be famous. But if you fall, if you fall, hold my hand. Oh, oh baby, you know all, all I want. I want. Uh, 
are you, are you okay? Oh, ew, it's just you. I didn't make it in the Super Bowl, and now my life is over. Oh, well, I can help you out. Wait, really? Yeah, I can get you in the Super Bowl, uh, I think. Jake, if you get me in the Super Bowl, I will love you forever. I want all those ads destroyed. All three of them? Every single one. The only ad people should be seeing is, of course, me. If you see this through, maybe we can go prime time together. Jake! How are you going to make this happen? Oh, well, I guess as a takedown of the Old Spice guy, the most interesting man, and the M&M's. And just how do you plan on doing that without any support? I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this, Jake. Uncomfortable, you say? Well, Fruit of the Loom can change that. We provide the best support there is. Wow, thanks, guys. I can already see those Super Bowl spotlights. Yes, we won't let you down, Jake. Yeah, we know where we can find Old Spice. Let the good neighbor stay Farm is there. At the gym. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back at me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But he could smell like me with Old Spice body wash. Oh, man. A towel has never looked so good. And he's on a horse. Ladies, please. There's enough for me to go around. Don't you worry. Hey, uh, Old Spice. Who are you? And my god, Mad Cargos, you really need to change your outfit. Well, maybe you should put some clothes on. No! no! I, I need you to drop out of your Super Bowl time spots. My girlfriend uh, thingy needs it more. Oh, really? And just why would I do that? Do I look like a guy who can afford to disappoint a girl right now? Looks like you already have. Good luck, Troy. Oh, that's it. And now a message from our proud sponsor, Sun Drop. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, yeah, you'll make it someday. Shine on our chain, now that you're looking fine. You'll fight for a vote. 
knows Victoria's secret. His chill to pull ratio is a solid five to five. He watched the fault in our stars and didn't even cry. He is the most interesting man in the world. And that's how I won the Rock, Paper, Scissors Championship. Without any hands! Oh my god, that is so interesting! Uh, hey, uh, most interesting man! Uh, I need your Super Bowl time spots, uh, and I'm not taking no for an answer! No. Out of the way, Jake, let me try! Hey, discount double check! Good old Double D, come on in! Don't mind if I do! Don't worry, Jake, I'm still on your side, I love you! Now tell me, discount, why are you hanging around with these losers? Well, you see, Jake, really needs my help to get flow from Progressive on Super Bowl time side. Is there anything you could do to help us out? <laughs> I would never give up an opportunity this big. Oh no, what are we gonna do, Jake? I don't know, guys, he's so interesting. <laughs> oh man, all for nothing. Well, 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 most interesting man. According to Statute 200, Article 420, you're guilty of false advertising. Exactly, our data shows your true child to pull ratio is four to five. <laughs> Looks like you've lost your spot in the Super Bowl! No! Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs> yes! Just one more to go! Eminem's, your days are numbered! Uh-oh, guess what day it is! Guess what day it is! Today's the day, dude! Hump day! Camel, no, you're on the wrong side. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday, yeah! Those other ads won't be able to handle us. Hey, Eminem's. Well, look who it is. We've heard all about you, Jake. Yeah, who do you think you are trying to take all of our spots? I'm doing this for Flo. She needs me. I have no choice but to take you down. Careful, Jake. The Eminem's have been around for decades. Let's show this loser how it's done. Witness some real Super Bowl talent. Where are my other Eminem divas at? Oh my god, Jay Rock! Oh, Jake, you got friend zone tonight. 
I was just a step from Ed, didn't know my good from bad, didn't know what at school had in store for me. Took down all three other foes, now my heart to stand by flows. Hey, Ed, woman, you made that boy out of me. Let's go. Oh, changing up friend zone tonight. Give up the fight, go get that girl and get that Super Bowl spotlight. Oh, Jigba, only five more minutes until your Super Bowl commercial airs! I can't believe we did it, Flo! No, I did it! I can finally take the Super Bowl for myself! And ladies, if you think you're good enough to be in a commercial with me, you're sadly mistaken! It's my time to shine! You know, I thought I'd just call a timeout, see how you're doing. It looks like you're having some problems. Well, yeah, but it's too late. It's over now. Oh, Jake, it's never over. Trust me. Whoa! It's time for your Super Bowl slot. Are you ready to dazzle those viewers? Since the day I was born! Oh, my God, Jake, what are you wearing? Uh, khakis? Why does everyone keep asking me about my pants? I don't know how, but you are pulling those off. They're fabulous. We could have a real special commercial on our hands with you. Flo, you're out. And Jake, you're in. What? No! Do you have everyone ready for your commercial, Jake? Uh, well, not quite everyone. <laughs> Flo, I can't do this without you. After all this time, you still want me? Oh, I've always wanted you. I said I'd get you a Super Bowl time spot, and I did. Oh. Directors, I have everyone I need right here. Really? With the cast this small? Are you sure you stand a chance against the bigger commercials? It's not our size. It's how we use it! Well, there's no time to waste. Let's go see those Super Bowl spotlights! Come on, guys! No, so, so we had to, so we took a left a, there, yeah. and then wait, no, yeah, maybe we were supposed I to take hit, a right. We hit a tree, and then I was no, like, "Hey, what? No, what's I think up? we're supposed to take a." Um, <laughs> hey, Becca. Yeah, what's up? Um, I think we're in the wrong. I think we're in the wrong place. Ah! How did all these people get here? I I don't know, but this is definitely not the bathroom. <laughs> definitely not the bathroom. Well, since we're here, 
I'm Rebecca Hawes, I'm the Public Relations Chair. And I'm Maddie Floodstrand, I'm the Executive Administrator. And clearly we are no good at reading maps, but the pirates in this next show sure are. Nice one. Nice, yeah. Yeah, the pun name... definitely intended. <laughs> the name Davy Jones strikes fear into the hearts of pirates everywhere. He rules the seven seas with an iron fist, but lately his crew has begun to wonder when exactly they'll be getting paid for all their hard work. When a new challenger, Jackie Sparrow, approaches and threatens to topple Davy's dynasty, he resolves to stop at nothing to take her down. Will he be able to sink Jackie's ship in time? Will Davy's greed and hubris be his downfall? Will they ever discover what the real treasures are in life? Directed by Eric Bergeson, Cooper Orler, Matt Grande, Andy Johnson, Laura Antonio, Talia Konensberg, and Tegan Nelson. Kappa, Alpha, Theta, Delta, Tau, Delta, and Kai Sai present the Pirates of Penn Dance. All rise for Captain Davy Jones! Oh, no, don't stop on my account. This is a day for celebration. We are the most fearsome pirates in the seven seas, all right? Right! You're wrong. I am the most fearsome pirate in the seven seas. You lot would be nothing without me. In this last blunder, peruse it. You scallywags call this treasure? I've seen better booty than an old folks' home. Sir, the rest of the crew want to share that treasure. Peggy needs a replacement peg. Looks fine to me. The wonders of modern prosthetics. But on the inside, it's rotten to the core. Quit your blabbing. You'll get paid when you find me a better treasure. Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you. Aye, aye Captain! Oh! Davy is the best around. The best around. The, the best, best around. A cup, a gem, a coin on the ground. He even has a crown. Now everyone bow down. Davey, 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 if you wanna be rich and you think that you got what it takes, you can take your place in the crew. If you wanna take a trip, sail a ship, cross the seven seas, and start your life anew. If you wanna make a name for yourself, take a claim in the world, be a pirate. Yes, sir. But remember that you'll never be as good as the best of the best. Who's that? It's me. Oh! Davey is the best. All around. The best. All around. The best. All around. But Davey is the best. All around. Now let me hear that sound. Oh! Davey, 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 Davey. That he who finds the golden treasure shall be the richest man in all the land, and none but the strongest, bravest, most fearsome pirate might find it. Should be a walk in the park for you then, Captain. Easy for you to say. I who better to find the golden treasure than. What's this I hear about a treasure? That'll be the golden treasure. Only the strongest, bravest man out. And a who? Oh. The name's Sparrow, Jackie Sparrow. I'm the woman who's gonna find that treasure. Sorry, love, but it'd be a man's job to search for booty. Hey! Oh, please, the closest you get to booty is swabbing the poop deck. Oh! So if you're not afraid, then I guess you'll mind if I take this map? Give it back! Whoa. 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 Sir, she took the map! No matter, it takes a real captain to read it anyway. I think I'll manage. Crew, let's go. Rap, she's gonna beat you. Squawk wisely, bird. I've got half a mind to deep fry those pretty little wings of yours. Rap, half a mind, half a mind. Ah, here's what we're gonna do. Piggy, Bubbles, Joe, front and center. Ahoy! You three are going to infiltrate Jackie Sparrow's crew, sink her ship, and make sure she doesn't reach my treasure. Polly here will keep an eye on you, so no funny business. Aye, aye, Captain! Rap, break a leg! Thanks, Lulu. So, everyone ready to set sail? 
Hey, new guy, come walk with me. This ship's got things you'll want to see. Come with me, it's now your turn. Ask us what you want to learn. Before we start, here is just one tip. Remember to have fun on our ship. I'm the captain and I declare to throw your cares up in the air. We want to welcome you to Jackie's crew. Of the ship and use your hook to poke a hole in the hole. Got it! And Joe, keep an eye on the crew. Yeah. I'll see if I can't get a leg up on this treasure. And break! break. So, what's that thing made of anyway? Oh, just an old mast. I could really use a new one. That this thing's rotten, rotten to, to the, the core. <gasps> Jackie could fix that. She takes care of her crew. She does? Yep. And this golden treasure we're after is for all of us. Wow, that's actually really touching. Captain, we're taking on water. Lulu, grab that peg. <laughs> Captain Jackie saved the day. Hooray! No, no, it was Peggy who saved the day. Would you please grab Peggy's present? Looks like you're going to need this sooner than we thought. <gasps> Golly, this is the nicest looking peg I've ever seen. I've been waiting years for Captain Day. Uh, thank you. Anytime, pal. Now back to work, everybody. We've got a treasure to find. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain! She ruined our sabotage attempt. And I got me a new pet. <laughs> Maybe Jackie really is the best pirate in the seven seas. Wait, you're not backing out of the plan, are you? One, two, three. Guys, please help us out. out. Whose crew are we on? What crew we just don't know? Who's your sad for all? Oh, Which crew do we want? Oh, Which crew do we want? This time they don't know. What is this, guys? I am torn. Who are we fighting for? Why don't we just stick to our plan? Davey was our number one, but Jackie proved herself today. Just look at this new peg she gave me. It's Davey. Jackie. Just choose one. She's our captain now, it's time to say goodbye to our old crew, oh. It's time for Jackie, it's time for Jackie, it's time for We're with her. Rack, Davey's not gonna be happy about this. Neither is Jackie, tie them up. Betsy, I've got the captain's in. I'll get your powder, sir. You no. The itch for the treasure. Soon the Black Pearl will be going full Titanic, and I'll be one nautical step closer to victory. You there, boy, how close are we? Well, sir, it's kind of hard to tell without a map. Yeah, I've instructed Polly to retrieve it from that nasty woman. Rack! Squawk of the devil, you'd better have good news. Jackie Sparrow, save the day! What? I sent my three best men. Well, actually, Bubbles is a girl. Enough! Hoy sails to full mast. Ready the cannons. Cue angry music. Tonight, we end Jackie's spell. <laughs> Let me go! Oh, you've got some splay! 
explaining to do. Start talking. We're innocent, innocent, I tell ya. Innocent? Then how do you explain the hook size hole in my ship? <laughs> Fine, if that's how you want to play, walk the plank. Walk the plank. Walk the plank. Walk the plank. Wait! We've been working for Davy Jones. <gasps> he sent us to sabotage you so that he can reach the golden treasure first. Liars! Traitors! How could you, Peggy? We just never expected you to be such a great captain. And why is that? Well, you know, because you're a woman. Excuse me? Oh, no, he didn't. My gender does not define my abilities. We worked hard to get to where we are today, and I'm not about to let Davy or anyone else take that away from us. You sure? Yeah. All 
right, then let's go find that treasure. around this tree, and we should be almost... Captain, that's a century we've passed three times now. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted to find the golden treasure. We do, sir. Then keep up. And if I hear one more complaint... Patsy, uh, what's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm exhausted. He can't even read a map. Are you kidding me? That's why we've been walking around in circles? How are we going to find the treasure if Davy has the map? Well, I made a copy of it in case Davy lost it. You know, because he's always telling me to bring out the map. We go straight past this tree for a hundred bases. Patsy, why don't you lead us? You can be our captain now. Yeah, you actually care about us. And you'll pay us. Well, what about Davy? He's insane, he's insane. Every single day we work hard uh, for no pay. no pay. We wonder why we stay, so today we won't be tamed. Everything we do has to be, uh, be Davy's way. way. While Patsy is over there, he's the captain we want today. We've had it up to here, so it's time we disappear. We are not the ones to work hard like a slave. So meet me, it is. Peace out, Davy. It's time we join a crew that will finally behave. He's insane, he's insane. It's time to take a stand now. Davy, you are done now. Go and take your bow. He's insane, he's insane. He's absolutely crazy. Goodbye, Captain Davy. Let's get off of the ship. He's insane, he's insane. It's time to take a stand now. Patsy, it's your turn now. Come and show us how. He's insane. He's insane, he's insane, he's absolutely crazy. Goodbye, Captain Davy. Follow me! Patsy, it's really bad. Let me help you about this. 37, 38, 39, 100. Patsy, start digging. Patsy! Patsy? Patsy? Fine, more gold for me then. Davy is the best around, the best around. Patsy! How many more paces, Joe? Yarr! Right, 97, 98, 99. Captain, it's a golden treasure! Yeah! Great work, Joe! Yarr! 97, 98, 99. We're too late! Uh, Wait, how did you guys get here? By calculating the circumference of the island in relation to the angle of the North Star. In uh, pirate, please! You know, <coughs> yarrr! Oh. It's mine, it's mine, oh! Patsy? Aha, D-Crew, attack! D-Crew, look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> but... But you underpay us, you overwork us, you're not a good captain. But Patsy... Davy, we could forgive you if... If what? If you admit that everyone is equal regardless of gender. Fine, you beat me fair and square. I'm sorry. Thank, Thank you! Patsy, we'll give your crew enough gold to pay off Davy's debts if you help us rebuild our ship. You've got a deal. Yay! But wait! What am I gonna do? Why is the show always about you? For the last four years! If I can't steal the treasure, at least I can steal the show. I guess when life gives you lemons, pray that they're Lulu. Let's dance! Once upon a time, I was a young boy finding my way. This track has been tough, but we figured it out. Yeah.
Hi, I'm Ari Brown, and I'm the music director. Hi, I'm Sarah Brownie, and I'm the finance chair. Hey, Sarah, do you know what the best time of the year is? Uh, Humor Production Week. Well, yeah, definitely that, but I was actually thinking of Girl Scout cookie season. All those Girl Scout cookies all over campus get me every time. Ugh, same. I have my freezer stacked with Thin Mints. What's your favorite? In the spirit of this year's Humo theme, I think I would have to go with a lemon cookie. Ooh, then this next show has the perfect recipe for you. When celebrity cooking queen Martha Stewart decides to hold a national contest to crown America's new favorite cookie, two competing teams quickly rise above the rest, the Boy Scouts of America and the Girl Scouts of America. With dreams of winning the grand prize, the two teams of scouts coincidentally both decide that a lemon cookie would be innovative and delicious. While shopping for the ingredients, the scouts realize that not only have they entered into the same competition, but they are baking the exact same thing, a lemon cookie. Tensions flare and trash is talked. Who will come out in first place? Listen up and you might find out. Directed by Sky Larson, Carolyn McGill, Noah Christopher, James Mose, Gabe Roshba, and Ari Seckler, Delta Gamma, Zeta Beta Tau, and Phi Delta Theta present A, a Clash, Clash of, of Cookies. cookies. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for this important message. At this time, we have a very sticky situation on our hands and desperately need the help of you, the American public. And now, Martha Stewart. My lovely fellow Americans, I am thrilled to publicize my quest to further expand my glorious cookie empire. As a cookie enthusiast myself, I am on the hunt for assistance, a dash of creativity, a tablespoon of brilliance, and a sprinkle of daring is required. I am looking for the cream of the crop, la creme de la creme. That who I may choose will be the face of my new endeavor. Don't you want your face on my box? Yes, Martha! My mama told me at the age of two, the art of being lives in you now a little old but aged like wine I need your help to turn back time I don't want a cake or a creme brulee and no pop days baking time with baking time with Martha and I need a brand to treat yes it's baking time with Martha bring your best and make Sweet. It's up to you. It's gotta be different. Need a cookie that you've never seen before. It can't be plain. Only full of flavor. Make a bath for me to impress me if you can. and have your parents' permission. Yes! Whoa, dude, this deal is far out. All we have to do is whip up a dang delicious cookie. According to my calculations, we have a distinct advantage over the competition. What, I'm a loser? I'm just here so I don't get fired. No need to be cheeky with that language. I'm Penny, line of four attendance, ladies. Right on, man. I'm Mary Jane Meadows, looking forward to embarking on this journey with you groovy girls. I'm Anastasia Elizabeth Singleton. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, um, hi, I'm Stacy from Jersey, and that's all you need to know. All right, ladies, let's get to it. Who knows how to make a proper batch of cookies? I can use daddy's credit card and buy us some Samia. I've got some experience with baking. Have our Girl Scout cookies, though. Oh, bloody hell! Looks like we've got some work to do! Uh, I have some concerns about this competition. I'm allergic to nuts. 
No tree nuts, no pine nuts, no pistachios. Bro, do we get it? You hate nuts and nuts hate you. Whatever. How are we going to win this thing? My trophy case is for sports, not for cooking. <laughs> um, actually, I have some experience in the kitchen. Here, I have prepared a pureed nut spread with a grape relish reduction paired with a brioche bun. That's just a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hi, I'm Braden Bender of the 43rd Division Troop 16, and it's a pleasure to be working with such fine gentlemen. But no need for handshakes. That's the easiest way to transfer germs. My name is Randall. Here's my signed parental consent form. Bro, chill out. You're being a scrub. Man up. I'm Chase, four-time state champion wrestling, football, and being a stud. <laughs> and I am Gordon's. I mean, Gordon. <laughs> we need a cookie the world has never seen before. There's not a moment to lose. Well, what, what kind of cookie, cookie should we bake? I've got, got just the thing. thing. Sugar, sugar, butter, sugar, butter, flour, sugar, butter, flour. Sugar, hey gang, butter, I got it, I know just what we butter, need. We'll look for sugar and butter, butter at the flour, grocery. Butter, 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 lamb into the batter will be unlike the rest. A sweet lamb and cookie will win us the contest. And sugar. Until we're the scouts that win the prize. Sweet and tart, a culinary eleven work of art. America is waiting. Stop their belly aching. So let's get to baking. What do you guys think of putting some whey, mass building, power, and protein in these cuts? Where are the brownies? We are here! Uh, I should only take half of you. Oh, uh, get the flour. Uh, I got the lemons! Lemons? Did you say lemons? They are making a cookie with lemons! Oh my god! Literally safe. Well, hey there, travelers. We just happened to enter the largest cookie competition organized by Martha Stewart! Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad because that's the competition that we're entering and you just said you're making a lemon cookie and that's the cookie that we're making. Well, 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 chefs! Looks like we've got too many cooks in the kitchen! You talk a big game, Mary Poppins, but we'll see who comes out on top when the cookies are on the table. No, I ain't done yet. Huh? Drop it low and pick it up just like this. Yeah. Drop it low and pick it up. 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 Drop it up. domestic guru, Martha Stewart, outside Rikers Island Supermax Prison. In a shocking turn of events, it has come to light that Martha's been involved in insider share dealing with crook. Don't worry, my American people. 
people. I've been doing a lot of work to prepare for my term of incarceration. But well, what, what about, about the cookie, cookie competition? competition? Martha has no further comments. I knew Martha was up to something, don't you? How in the name of Sir Isaac Newton is Martha going to properly calculate a winner from a penitentiary? Uh, don't worry, Anastasia. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> A few minutes ago, we were adversaries, but with Martha in jail, there are no Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts anymore. Only the Scouts of America, and America still needs to taste this innovative citrus creation. The Girl and Boy Scouts of America have joined forces and are rumored to be unveiling a cookie that will sweep the nation. A big paycheck is bound to be coming their way. They're having their first meeting as a unified troop today. More news to come. Those run maggots! I'm the face of America's cookie! I need to get to that meeting disguised as one of those little cookie monsters and get it back. Oh, thanks, Snoop Dogg. Wolf. It's the one and only Eagle Double G. No, 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 no. Days. Hashtag fancy footwork. <laughs> now that we've created the world's greatest cookie and sold it to half of America, let's get started with our formal meeting. First things first. Uh, first things first, I have a confession to make. Anastasia Elizabeth Singleton, I'm in love with you. <gasps> Gentlemen. Uh, 
Anna. 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 Anastasia. Since we met deep inside, I knew Anastasia. I'm in love with you. My regret, this is overdue. Anastasia, I'm in love with you. My mindset and my heart is true. Anastasia, I'm in love with you. to join. I mean, only if y'all are okay with that. Oh, rubbish! We accept any new member! We didn't make a union to stand for nothing, guys! Welcome to the trip, Marsha! Back to business. So far we've raised $10,000 and we need to find its proper home. We can keep the money and go on a shopping spree. Uh, but who should look after all this money? Well, I'll keep track of my father's farm for quite some time now. Money is my specialty. I'd be honored to hold on to it. Oh, perfect! Whoa, dude, wait! You're not Marsha! You're Martha Stewart! Yes, Martha Stewart! That's right, and this was my idea, and this is my money! Let's get it! Scouts of America earned for their new successful cookie. No way! This has to be wrong! I'm the culinary queen! Martha Stewart! So everyone wants to know, what's your secret ingredient? Well, we really shouldn't tell you, but... Don't say anything! It's lemons! You idiot! There you have it, folks. When life gives you lemons, <laughs> you get to bake it. Exactly right, Snoop Dogg. And tell me, are the Boy and Girl Scouts of America going to stick together? We're all for one and one for all! We have come together All the Scouts united within one troop Everybody we're better, there's no stopping us oh. Sell our cookies, spread the word so everyone can see Bacon, tasted There's not a hungry belly that we can feed If we're cooking, then we are a team Mixing, sprinkling To sweeten the world with all sorts of tasty treats Cook and then we are a team. Yeah. 
and gentlemen, welcome to the sixth show of the night. Sarah has a really big decision in front of her. She has her final rose. So, Sarah, who are you going to give your final rose to? Mari, I have no idea how to make this decision. That guy over there has great style. Absolutely. Total Calvin Klein model. You right there, yeah. But you see, that guy over there, he, his muscles are huge. Could totally lift you above his head. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what? I don't know who to give my final rose to. I just, I can't decide. Well, Sarah, you kind of have to decide quickly. We have to get out of here on time. We have awards tonight still. You, you got to pick. Well, what are you going to do? Kick me out as a bachelorette? Yeah. Yeah, I will. That sounds like our next show. <laughs> when the little girl Lucy is forced to leave her room after creating her own bachelorette show starring her many toys, Barbie is left in the spotlight, unable to decide who she will give her final rose to. Upset and jealous, Raggedy Ann comes up with a plan to steal the show away from Barbie. Will Raggedy Ann succeed and become the new bachelorette, or will some heroic toys save the day? One thing's for sure, after tonight's final rose ceremony, the toy box will never be the same. Directed by Bianca Bockwinkle, Eliza Talmadge, Samantha Bravos, Nicole Forrest, Lily Roeder, Mike Foy, Hudson Miller, Andrew Rosal, Jordan Engelbert, and Phil Geiger. Chi Omega, Chi Omega, Sigma Delta Tau, Acacia, and Alpha Gamma Rho present Final Rose Fiasco. Are you still playing with your toys? Grow up, Lucy! Stop being such a jerk, dear girl, to mom! You're so spoiled. You have all those toys under your bed that you don't even play with anymore. Mom, Derek's being mean again! Quiet down, kids. I'm watching The Bachelorette. But mom! Derek, leave your sister alone. Whatever. Oh, what a loser. And I can't believe mom's watching that stupid show again. It's been on for like a gazillion seasons. They should try something different for once. <gasps> like make it with toys! Good evening, you welcome to the final rose ceremony. I'm your host, Ted the Teddy Bear, and just like all of you, I'm a little- Literally bursting at the seams, you're gonna see who Barbie chooses. It will be Ken, the dreamy fashion icon, or handsome tough guy, G.I. Joe. Stay tuned, and all will be revealed tonight on the Toy Box Bachelorette. Lucy, she's the girl that we all love. Made a toy box for us all. Now we're in her TV show. Come on, come on, to see the Bachelorette. They say, oh, they're just toys. Well, we are. It's the final rose. Who will she choose? No one knows on the final rose. It's what we're looking for. It's the final rose. It's like we can or G.I. Joe. Barbie, please. G.I. Joe. Oh, yes, you are. Don't we marry that ugly? Woo! And finally end this show. Back to me. It's been a long journey. Barbie's ready to get in that dream house with her man. So just sit tight for the final rose. Who will she choose? No one knows on the final rose. It's what we're looking for. Choose me, because I saved her from that savage bear! That savage bear! What's a care bear, 
Joe! Well, at least I don't critique everything Barbie wears. Oh, come on! We all know that purse was tacky. Is that Lucy's mom? Should we hide? No, Cheer Bear. Lucy told us to stay put. What if we get caught? Lucy's mom will punish us. Well, look at the brains on this one. Gold star for you. Oh, Polly, ignore him. Everyone says this fellow stuffing. No, Polly's right. Toy box now. Hugs later. Let's move, soldiers. Oh, look! Lucy forgot to put Barbie away. I got it. I'll hide Barbie under Lucy's bed. That'll teach her. Welcome back after that brief commercial break. We're just a few minutes away. Wait, everybody, where's Barbie? She's not in her dressing room. Oh, she's probably just off in her Barbie world. But I'll take her place after all. I made that Barbie famous. <laughs> Can we go look for Barbie now? I guess I'll need to serve. I'll join you! <clears throat> Somebody's got to carry your wardrobe. Let's fall into place. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, where is that Barbie girl? She was just about to tell us who, who she would choose. We lost our friend, I think she ran away, and now we're worried that she won't survive another day. We gotta find our friend, we don't know where she went, what's our plan? Barbie will find her, do whatever we can, Barbie will find her, with her whole toy clan, toy clan. We gotta find our friend, not much more time before things go wrong, we don't know what to do since Barbie's gone. Could you please help me look? Just quit watching that show. I left her right there. I've 
Blondie. Gee, I, Jane, is that really you? Wait, what do you mean it's too late? Have I already been replaced? Raggedy Ann took your place, at least according to my intelligence report. <laughs> oh no, that can't be. Raggedy Ann has always been so nice to me. Nice? Are you joking? Soldiers, raise your hand if you've ever been personally victimized by Raggedy Ann. She's the worst. She made Sergeant James cry. She said my gun was tiny, just like mine. Mine. Just like his what? His hands! The manufacturer screwed up! Pull yourself together, soldier! I can't believe this, G.I. Jane! How could they replace me with that horrible two-faced monster? Do you still want to go back knowing all of your friends have already replaced you? Yes! Lucy must be worried sick about me! I have to go back! But this place is a maze, and I can't even get past the broken toys! Will you help me, G.I. Jane? Well, my poor baby brother probably misses me anyway, so... I guess I'll help you out. at the seams. And unlike Barbie, I know who I want to give my final rose to. Congrats, I'm so happy for you. Where are the boy toys? What is going on here? We know what you did, Raggedy Ann. We interrogated the trolls, and they told us everything. You think Derek to do your dirty work? Smart. But now that we know that you sabotaged the show, we, we are officially to win! <gasps> no, they can't quit, can they? Well, technically, they signed a contract. But if this is true, we're going to have to find a new bachelorette again. I'll do it. Please, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. Stop. 
before we start fighting each other, I have something I need to get off my chest. Once upon a time in this robot we'd all play But things have gone wrong and the fun has gone away Derek the Barbie under Lucy just sits around and she whines Someone please come and save us cause we're running out of time Someone set Raggedy straight She just wants to find a mate that she hates and she hates and she hates And Teddy owes the bachelorette He's just trying to forget that in love he keeps making mistakes And if only Ken and Joe can relate Love is their fate We find love, we'll go for it Find love, we'll go for it Go for it! Go for it! Go for it! We are all searching this toy box for a Go for it! Go for it! Go for it! Someone to play with the song and someone on who we to pay Go for it! Go for it! Go for it! Where is the special someone we're dreaming of? Go for it! Go for it! Go for it! To be loved, love, love. is missing and raggedy and cruel. Cruel, cruel, cruel. All the toys are so blue, we don't know what to do. Do, 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 do. Lucy, we're and we need you on our side. Side, side, side. Can we find someone to love? You know, Megan, you know what's great about Humo? 
You can go from being a basketball star in high school to dancing on stage with glitter on your face singing. It's true. You don't even have to audition to be in Humo. In fact, I don't even know how you would audition. You know, I think this next cast can help us out with that. Okay. Well, Derek and Jenny are best friends and the most talented singers at their high school. With high hopes for their futures, they've each decided to audition for Star University, the most prestigious music school in America. But as the audition nears, tension rises and the two bonk heads waking up on a musical planet that neither of them knew existed, MP3. Here, Derek and Jenny try to learn the lessons necessary for nailing their audition but ultimately find themselves in the midst of a battle between modern music and the spiteful spirits of the past. With their futures on the line and MP3 at risk, Derek and Jenny must find their harmony once again to keep the music alive and make their dreams come true. Directed by Colin Dowda, Duncan Blake, Tony Trakovich, Emily Eigler, Sabrina Carlins, Carly White, Maria Elena Sfigos, Kennedy Pipers, Jacob Henches, Nathan Haynes, and Teresa Nepo. Alpha Chi Omega, Kappa Kappa Gamma, Beta Theta Pi, and friends present A Friendship in Trouble, the story of MP3. Okay, everyone, carefully transition in your fluttering dolphin pose. You feel a pop in your hip, then you definitely did it right. Jeez, Jenny, you really have your game today. I'm just thinking about this audition. I know, me too. I can't believe we're finally auditioning for Star University. We've already been stars since we were kids. But there are only two spots. What if I'm not good enough? I don't even know how the judges want me to perform. Oh, come on, you're so talented. We both are. Ha! I remember the school play last year, and Jenny was a great lead. What were you again, Derek? Tree number three? <laughs> Don't listen to him. I thought you were a great tree. You tried really hard. Whatever. The point is you're my best friend, and we've been performing together for years, and we will both kill this audition. I'm sure of it. The chance we always wanted, yeah, we finally got it. Now it's time for us to shine. What if I'm a failure? I'll remember it forever, so will everybody everywhere. Tree number three forever If I screw this chance up, there'll never be a number We're together this time like sister and brother But what if you're wrong? Jenny, just have fun Thank you. 
the end there. Well, follow me, children. Off we go. I don't know if we should follow them, Jenny. Why not? What do we have to lose? Oh, I don't know. Our lives, our wallets, our... Oh, shit. Let's go. Where are we, and why does it smell like oatmeal? This is Endless Soul's retirement home, where the legends of funk and soul never die. Here, you'll meet timeless musicians. Oh, wow. Is Eminem here? Eminem's. I love chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Does that answer your question? No! Oh, Ruth, you're playing Yahtzee. But on another note, I really need to get rid of this peanut butter and banana sandwich. What? I said I really need to get rid of this peanut butter and banana sandwich. Somebody say Peanut butter and banana. The king, it is such an honor. Whoa, baby, you ain't no friend of mine. Excuse me, little mama. I gotta hit the job. Okay, well, that wasn't who I brought you here to meet, but I'd like to introduce you to the oldest legends of funk and soul, Doris and Randall. Hi, I'm Jenny. It's nice to meet you. Oh, you're so cute. I just want to give you a bath. Oh, honey, stop it. So about this audition, you said you don't know how the judges want you to perform. But it's not about the judges. You can't worry about what your audience thinks. Forget that flashy hip-hop mumbo-jumbo and feel the music within yourself. You know the feeling when you're dancing to your favorite song? Yeah. During your audition, focus on yourself and let that feeling naturally overcome you. Exactly, so we have one question for you. Do you want to dance? Yeah! Moving, grooving, slip and slide. Yeah! Come on, baby, don't you hide. Come on, come on, come, come on, come on, baby. Stars. But be wise, for it's also home to the ghost music past, one of MP3's most dangerous inhabitants. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Jeepers, let's get out of here! Jay, DJ! Oh, buddy, where are you off to? It's dangerous in here, you know. Who are you guys? Are you gonna take my wallet? Uh, of course not! Here, have a cookie. Derek, hello! I'm the ghost of music past. These are my minions. We're here to help you out. But DJ says you're... Wait, help me with what? Derek, that audition, there's only, uh, one spot, not two. Jenny wants to take that spot for herself, but we want you to have that spot instead. Only one spot? But why would Jenny do that to me? She's always outshined you, hasn't she? She was the lead. What, were you again? Tree number one? <laughs> <laughs> he wishes tree number three forever. To ensure that you don't remain tree number three forever, we have a plan. You see that disc around DJ's neck? Retrieve it for me, and we'll take care of Jenny. Then the audition will be yours. What do you say? I do want that spot, but... Derek, you don't understand. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's either you or her, and she will screw you over. I need to take my chance while I still can. You can be the best if you trust me. And I will take her spot and then she'll see. Now's the time you need to forget her. Somebody that you used to know. See it, 
yes, 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 this place is everything. Human cellos, Officer Kelly in a Power Rangers costume, Britney Spears. Just leave me alone! Nope, Stefan, Britney, get out of here! Ah, Derek, so nice of you to join us. Children, the creators of the modern pop sound at your service. I'm Lady Blah Blah. It's a pleasure, Jenny. And Derek, I'm here too, you know. Ugh. What is his deal? Regardless, I'm Little Mumbles, the creator of modern rap. Why do they call you Mumbles? You seem to talk so... <laughs> Eloquently, yes, I know. Little Mumbles is just an act for the audience. The audience? Those old people told us to perform for ourselves! This is bullshit! Listen! If you want to succeed, you must give the people what they want. Big performances and bigger personalities. If you perform like a star, you can get away with anything. Precisely. I've never rapped anything even close to the English language. Oh my god, little mumbles! Sign my baby! <laughs> you see, these two changed the game of pop when... Hey, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Okay, gorgeous. Why don't you just learn by watching me? Now Jenny, listen to me, it's all about what they see. Don't you worry about yourself until you get them to stare. You can just trust yourself and own it if you want, but you can't just let go. You need to put on a show. Blah, 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 blah. There's no need to get to my right. Girl, just let your body take control. Well, I sure am tickled to have y'all here at Symphony Saloon. I'm Jebediah, the provider of this here fine establishment. Help, Jebediah, I'm Taylor stuck in the well. Taylor Swift? What's she doing here? She is not country anymore. Is <laughs> she stuck in the well? We just sold you that. I say you leave her. She betrayed us. But she's lying on the gold hard ground. Oh! So, Jebediah, what are you going to teach us? Well, darling, country music is the anthem for tailgaters and broken hearts alike. See, we believe in a great performance start with lyrics that mean something. Of course you do. Is anything consistent on this planet? When you're performing, don't do it for the audience. Heck, don't even do it for yourself. Do it for the sake of the music. All that matters is that your singing comes from the heart. True and blue. Now let me explain. But I've been forgotten, I do. I've been married a long nope, time ago. cut that out right now. I'm fed up with all of this. Especially you, Jenny. Jenny, I love you, Jenny. Not now, Forrest. This whole journey's been a sham. All these lessons contradict each other, and nobody is listening to me. Now, Derek. It's you. I'll be taking this. Wait, what? All right, I got the disc. Now you take care of them. With pleasure, Derek. Come on, gang. Get them. Uh... Your attention. 
He told me all about your little plan to take the last audition spot and leave me in the dust. But now I'll be taking that spot instead, right? Wrong! You're wrong! Wait, what? <laughs> you stupid, stupid boy! There are two spots! Jenny was on your side the whole time! You would have seen that if you weren't so blinded by your own jealousy! I never wanted to take anything from you, Derek! But now that this is mine, I can finally shut the music off for good! No! You don't know what you're doing! This world would be nothing without music! Oh, this poor little baby DJ wanted music! Well, too bad! Once I destroy this disc, it will be gone forever! Not so fast, Sonny! No! No! I was so close! And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids! So it's like Scoob, you think he's talking about us? One tarnation! Who am I? Run, run, run! Okay, Mumbles, you know what to do. Now it's time for you two to work things out. I, I'm sorry, Jenny. He tricked me. But I shouldn't have. No, Derek, this is my fault. You are so talented and you deserve the spotlight just as much as I do. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. So what do you say? Are we back in this together or what? Oh, Jenny, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. I felt betrayed, I made mistakes, but now I know I need you. We can be stars, the chance is ours with you. I know that it's true. Stronger than before. Who knows what's in store? Side by side we won't fail. We could change the game. Don't forget our name. Side by side we won't fail. Together we're in Thinking. You think we can pull that off? Next! Go make me proud, kiddos! Nice of you two to finally show up. So, what are you gonna be singing for us today? It's, it's an original. original. If you want to be a star, you just gotta know who you are and you have to find your own sound. If you wanna be the best, be yourself, forget the rest. It's the time for us to shine now. We believe in you! We can succeed! It's meant to be. We can be great, you can forget tree number three. <laughs> forget the past. And just believe. We are the future and that's what you need to see. You learned your lesson, so be performing. Time to shine just like the stars you are. You are the future, so stop performing. Be yourselves and you'll be super Stars you are. You are the future. Stop performing. Be yourself and you'll be superstars. 
Alright, so before we announce the winner, we're going to do a few caption awards. For those of you who are new to Humorology, caption awards are a way to recognize highlighted moments of um, each and every show. So without further ado, we will begin with the four-year awards. Cast, just a reminder, if your cast is called, send up one director, or if a character is called, send up that person who's won the award. Thanks, Mari. Hi, everyone. Um, so we're going to start off with the senior awards. These are for seniors who have done humorology for all four years in their undergraduate career. Um, so we'll get started. All right, first off, Austin Koistinen. Next, we have Chandler Grenley. Darius Chambers. We have Justin Vasquez. Elliot Marshall. Antonio. Jake Kane. Mariana Bonadonna. Sydney Chazen. And last but certainly not least, Rebecca Haas. Congratulations to all the seniors. We appreciate all of your hard work these past four years. Good job. Thank you. All right, next we're going to recognize some individual awards within each cast. So the first one. For best male lead, Ari Seckler. Looks like we got some work to do. Uh, I have some concerns about this competition. I'm allergic to nuts. No tree nuts, no pine nuts, no pistachios. Bro, do we get it? You hate nuts. <laughs> Samantha win. So Barbie, who do you choose? I, I don't know. Cut, cut everybody to me. All right, all right, all right. Next we have best female vocalist, Allie Walton. Vocalist is going to Alex Leva. And the future's I want her. Oh, we gotta end his feud. All right, next we have Best Villain. That's going to Yael Bavel. I've got to prepare. Now that Barbie's away, it's at me they'll all stare. <laughs> Next we have up funniest male character, and that's going to Ian Hirsch. What are you doing? Oh, I'm drawing you like one of my French girls. What? Whatever. We have food. Now we have funniest female cater character, Nada Salamzadeh? Come in! How's the box? Come in! All right. This is a new one. Best sidekicks goes to Gia Donna, Elliot Marshall, and Sam Peters. Here's 
the plan. Bubbles, sneak around to that side of the ship and use your hook to poke a hole in the hull. Got it! And Joe, keep an eye on the crew. Yeah. I'll see if I can't get a leg up on this treasure. And break! break. And this is a great one because he had three great cameos. Spencer Lynn. Especially you, Jenny. Jenny? I love you, Jenny. Not now, Forrest. <laughs> this next one is called Best One Liner, and that is for Guards, Sebastian Atwood, and Josh Suffolk. to call the guards. No guards are gonna stop us. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Guards! <laughs> All right, next we have best use of theme, and that goes to DG, ZBT, and Fire. Oh, get the flower. Oh, I got the lemons. Lemons? Did you say lemons? Be a bit a cookie with lemons. <laughs> Most original show we have for Kappa, AKO, Beta, and Friends. Now we have the best script for Theta, Delta, and Lodge. Delta and Delta Pi. Uh oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Today's the day, dude. Hump day. Camel. Best acapella. He's in. He's insane, he's insane. It's time to take a stand now, baby. You are done. That's so good. Yeah. This next one is for best music. Yeah, so and this is going to AZD, TKE, and Alpha Stay. Such a juicy Should I sing it again? No. <laughs> Goes to final rows. FGC Kyle, Acacia, and AG. Treasure. Peggy needs a replacement peg. Looks fine to me. No wonder's a 
And our last caption award of the night goes to the best directing team. Kayo SDT Education HDR. Congratulations, everyone, on fantastic shows. Hi, um, most philanthropic cast raising a total of forty thousand six hundred and eighty is Kappa Alpha Theta, Delta Tau Delta Alpha Lodge. All right. So we have had the pleasure of all year raising money for the Rainbow Project, and I am proud to announce our final total that we will be donating. So we set the goal as an exec board for $150,000, and we will be donating a total, drum roll. All right, $180,000. from the Rainbow Project to say a few words on their behalf. Oh my goodness. Well, um, I'm speechless for a couple reasons. One is I've been screaming and yelling throughout the evening for all of you. But the other is because I am just so appreciating every single one of you and every minute and second that you work so hard to do this for such good. We've worked with over 11,000 children, and we're going to use these funds oh my God. Um, for our waiting list and for really focusing on some of the infants and toddlers that, unfortunately, we've been seeing as well. So I just thank you from the bottom of my heart from our staff, from our board, and especially for the children and families that we work with. Thank you. Now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Before I begin, I just want to congratulate all of the casts. You guys did absolutely incredible. You should all be so proud of yourselves. Amazing. And yeah, I'm speechless. But for third place, can we get a drum roll? Pi Beta Phi, Beta Chi and Sigma Phi. Second place, drum roll. Delta Gamma, Zeta Beta Tau, Phi Delta Theta. First place, final drum roll. Kappa Alpha Theta, Delta Tau Delta, Lodge. We would just like to really thank everybody for coming out tonight and supporting us. Uh, it means a lot. So thank you guys very much. Thanks for coming tonight. <laughs>